doing this again? Yeah, we are. Oh my gosh. Um, we're gonna find out. Well, we know the gender already. We've known for a few weeks, but and there's we we'll to get double checked, and we're gonna find out if anything's going with anything wrong. Like with Evie, there was she had like a dilated kidney or her bladder or something, and it has come back in a few weeks and get another ultrasound, and it was cleared up. She was just holding her pee or whatever. But I got my coffee. The baby has been moving a lot though, so I probably don't even need it. Are you nervous? Why would I be nervous? It's for doing this again. <laughs> because it's just good to be prepared for like if they tell you something. You know, you can't even be like, oh, I know my baby's perfect, and then get bad news and be totally caught off Oh, that's what it's for? I didn't know that. You're pissing me off. <laughs> what? Do I have to go through the whole charade again? <laughs> you at least act. Aren't you a freaking actor? I was. Oh yeah, did, did you know Sam retired from acting? When did I retire from acting? You just said was. No, I act all the time. Yeah, so do I. Yeah, I know. Anyway, so afterwards we will tell you- Oh no, I coughed. <coughs> <coughs> that was real. Go watch out. Light them on fire with gasoline while we're driving. Um, no, afterwards we'll tell you what the scan said because we found out some doctors don't tell you for like days what the scan says. Our doctor will have it see us right afterward and tell us. So we'll tell you that. And I know. I think I'm more nervous, honestly, about coughing in the waiting room than I am anything else today. <laughs> I don't think anybody will be in there. Uh, only anybody will be in there. Because, like, now that I've got, like, the thought not to cough, I'm going to want to cough. Like, I can, I can, <coughs> say, now I got to, <coughs> now I got to cough. Great. That's great. You have a drink. Anyway, so we'll let you know what the, they say about the scan and, yep, yeah, and then the gender and, um, the name. I was gonna do a reveal, but I'm just gonna help hold a sign up. Wow. I was gonna get a Coney and do like the hot dog or no hot dog. Have you seen that? Oh, what? Where you I take, hate a, that. take a bite out of it and there's a hot dog in it and what? it's a boy that's, and there's no, no hot dog. No, that's wrong. Girl. You don't know. That's the only thing I can think of that I would have done because it's easy. I hate, I hate but we've had, sky <laughs> we've had Skyline the last two days. Wash, wash your hands. That's wash your hands. All you gotta do. Don't go out if you're sick, and you'll be just fine. Hey, um, it's the next day after the appointment yesterday. It just got away from me. The day didn't go as planned. Um. Anyway, so. Before I start this part of the video, let me just say I am excited. I just don't portray emotion well. That's how I was raised. <clears throat> um, let's get into it. So I don't have any cute reveals. I'm just gonna hold a sign up that says what it is. Okay. Final guesses. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Boy, yay! Yeah, um, and his name is gonna be Nolan Thomas. So, I will admit that's what I did want a boy. However, if it had been a girl, I still would have been happy. Um, so the last video, um, I talked about the baby names. Me and Sam actually didn't match on Nolan. He had it on his list, and one day when his mom was over, um, I had him reading his names because we were making fun of him, and then he said that name, and I was like, wait, Nolan? I was like, I like that name, and his mom was like, I like it too, 
and I like I really pushed for it because every other name that we had ever agreed on, every time I was like, he would suggest it, like Luca, even though Luca loosely does not sound good at all. I didn't think about that. I was like, oh yeah, I like that too. And he's like, uh. And as soon as I said I liked it, he would not like it anymore. Um, and originally it was gonna be Leonardo, but I started not liking the LL sound and it's like Leonardo loosely. And I thought I had too many O's, Leonardo. So, if we hadn't been able to agree on anything though, it probably would've been Patrick. Cause that's Sam's middle name. But yeah, Nolan and Thomas was Sam's grandpa's name, his mom's dad. Cute, right? Um, and here, oh. Here's all the ultrasound pictures. So, I drank the coffee before I went in and hoping he would be like active. He could not be bothered at all. He's the opposite of Evie. Evie, I would drink apple juice and she would be all over the place. She'd have her leg on her face. One time, I think it was like her, not her anatomy scan, but her follow up. Um, as soon as I put the wand on my stomach, she was like, she watched it the whole time. Like she was very alert. But yeah. And then here I'll show you the face. Got a good chin. I'll show you a couple of the other ones that you can tell what's happening. Yeah, we've known this for a few weeks. Um, when we went to the other place to find out the gender, it was very obvious. And I will not show you it to you, but it was a boy. His foot, like the leg. It's cute. Back up, please. And then by the end of it, he like, flipped over on his stomach, which is how he's normally laying because he kicks me way far down. And he like buried his face like in the bottom. It was funny. Yeah, he didn't really move that much. That's like all he did. Oh, at one point he was doing like bicycle legs. He really wasn't that active, you know, I drank coffee. But uh, they said everything looked great, everything was healthy, my fluid looked good, baby looked good, no defects that they could see. Um, so that's good. Evie, are you eating? I don't know if she's eating or not. Anyway. Um, the reason I mentioned my fluid is because, so, this isn't related probably, but I'm going to say it anyway. So when you're pregnant, you're supposed, drink, you're supposed to drink like 80 to like 96 ounces of water a day. And even before, before I got pregnant, I like, I'm just not like a thirsty person. Like, I just don't get thirsty. It's not like I'm just like, oh, I don't like water. No, I just... I just don't require that much beverage to get through the day. You're probably thinking, wow, you're probably just super dehydrated all the time. No, I'm not. Anyway, so for a few days, I did do 80 ounces a day. Actually, it might have been 96. I had this giant water bottle I filled up twice a day. And I was feeling so sick. I felt terrible I hated it I hated it like I was miserable so I went back to I went down to um, 
Now I do two of these a day, which is 24 ounces. So like, this is how I do it. It's like, this, I fill it up in the morning and then when I finish it, I can have a coffee. It's a reward. Then I fill it up after my coffee and typically I finish it before I go to bed. But if I don't, I drink roughly like 50 to 60 ounces a day, which is still torture. <laughs> And the, 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 the doctor just said, as long as your urine is pretty light by the end of the day, then you did good. Which I know some people have to drink a lot of water to get their fluid, right? So I'm not trying to brag or anything. But one thing I am going to brag about, I was giving information out. And if there's a day where like water like literally is just, just, just disgusting to me, which is like today, I drink one of these, not sponsored. Hey, stop it. Um, this is the light version, so don't even come at me and say all the sugar. I only have two grams of sugar. But it has coconut water, which is like hi really hydrating. So like, it tastes like a watermelon Jolly Rancher. It's like, it tastes really sugary, but it's not. Or if I'm feeling bad, I'll have the black blackout berry one that has all the sugar in it. I think they're good. Yeah, I have one of those if I'm having like a ugh, water day. And I heard they're good for breastfeeding because they're really hydrating. And I'll probably get a shot because I need all the help I can get. I love, I love to be able to pump and have a supply in the freezer. Um, anyway, also I wanted to say, the most exciting part other than, you know, having a healthy baby. Oh, and he was 14 ounces, they said, as of right now. He was running perfectly on time. Oh, and, sorry, I'm like jumping everywhere. They check your cervix length, I think it, which I think they mean like the thickness and they're like, oh, it's like five point something. Millimeters, I mean, I don't know what the, it can't be centimeters, that'd be freaking huge. It must be millimeters. And I was like, oh great, so nice and thick. And they're like, yep. I was like, I'm gonna go over again, aren't I? They're like, maybe. <laughs> Cause everybody else is like a four or like a three. I'm like double. Just kidding, but I'm determined not to go over my due date again. I refuse to be induced. Last time I had to be induced. Um, this, because my fluid got low, but I am determined to go into labor on my own this time. I feel much better than I did last pregnancy. I have not gotten swollen yet, which last pregnancy I was so swollen. I generally feel pretty good. Last pregnancy I was just miserable. So I'm gonna do a lot of walking. I'm gonna get an exercise ball, and I'm gonna I'm gonna get it on my own. Okay. Anyway, I was gonna brag about. So when I my first appointment, when I found out I was pregnant, I weighed two o three. Okay, so if you didn't know, my last pregnancy, I really, really, really struggled with my weight. I gained 65 pounds throughout the entire pregnancy. I went from 160 to 226. The dogs had to do this every time I'm recording, don't they? And since I didn't get the breastfeed, I did not, I did not get to lose that much weight. So I would say I probably... I really fluctuated a lot since having EB. I was in the 200s, between 200 and 210. So right when I got pregnant, I was 203, which I hate saying that because I'm really embarrassed about it. Stop. And um, I was just like, oh my God, I wanna gain all this weight again and I'm gonna never lose it. I'm gonna be big forever because if, if you don't know I used to be like really skinny 
I'm not trying to brag about that. I'm just saying. So anyway, I started slowly gaining weight up to where I got to 208 and I was like, kill me. And then between January 3rd and January 30th to my two appointments, I lost five pounds. I'll jack down to 203. I was very happy. And now I weigh 209. Yeah. So I've gained six pounds since. Wow. That doesn't sound good, does it? Technically, you said I've only gained six pounds overall this pregnancy. I'm only halfway through. So I feel pretty good about that. I don't know. It's just totally different this time. I don't know what it, I think. It's, I don't think a boy makes that much of a difference, but this video's probably gone on way too long. You probably clicked out forever ago. Um, but hope you're happy. Hope you're excited to go on this journey with us. Um, I will say. Most of this big stuff we have, like her jump roo, her pillows, like her like bobby pillows, and stuff like that is like gender neutral. And then like some of her like sleepers and stuff, when she has a baby, I mean they're girly, but if he's out of sleepers, I'll put them on him. Like, I thought that a rainbow one that's really, really cute. No, I hate not to get to use these again, right? Anyway, we yeah, haven't, I haven't gotten any, oh, I have bought onesies, but only got like one pack, but we'll hope you're excited to go on this journey with us and I'll try and keep you in the loop as much as possible so you can see what it's like. And I guess I'll just see you guys in the next video. Bye.